Messed Up is brought to you by Midcoast Federal Credit Union. Welcome to Messed Up, the quiz show that challenges Maine high school students in the arenas of math, engineering, science, and technology. I'm your host, Sarah Long, and we have two new teams with us today from Baxter Academy. We have Kaylee LaCour and we have Jenna Sullivan with us today. Welcome, guys. And from Wayne Fleet, defending the championship title from last season, we have Stephen Epstein and Juliana Harwood. So welcome to you guys as well. No pressure, <laughs> right? Yeah, right. <laughs> the teams are going to be competing across four rounds, and this is all for placement in our semifinal round where the top eight teams will be competing for the messed up title, the trophy, and uh, an iPad each, and of course, bragging rights for season four. All right, so if you guys are ready, let's get into the brain battle. In this brain battle round, the first team to buzz in gets the five points for each question. So there are going to be 10 questions. And if you buzz in before we get to multiple choice, you get an extra two points for that question. If you buzz in before multiple choice and get the answer wrong, then the other team will have to answer also without the multiple choice. So we all set? All right, let's get to it. How many prime numbers end with either a two or a five? Blue team. Two. That's correct. As an engineering material, when silicon is added to copper, what characteristic does it increase? Red team. I need an answer. Not. Blue team. Any guess? No? Mass. The answer is hardness. What is part of a database that holds only one type of information? Red team. Binary? Incorrect. Blue team? No. The answer is field. What is the primary metal found in chlorophyll? We'll go to multiple choice. A, magnesium. B, copper, C, iron, or D, calcium? Red team. Copper? Incorrect. Blue team. Iron? Incorrect. The correct answer is magnesium. Oh, that's yeah. <laughs> Besides the Milky Way, name one galaxy that is in the local group. Blue team. Andromeda? That's correct. What massive engineering project provided quick transit from the Atlantic to Pacific Oceans without having to travel around the tip of South America? Blue team. Panama Canal. Correct. What is the maximum number of covalent bonds that can be formed by a nitrogen atom? Blue team. Three. Incorrect. Red team, you get a, ch a chance. Nine. Incorrect. The correct answer is four. The transformer that develops the high voltage in a home television is commonly called a what? Red team. Transmitter. Incorrect. Blue team. No guess? No. The answer is flyback, which I had never heard of either. <laughs> Cinnabar ore is the primary natural source of what rare metal? Multiple choice. A, mercury, B, silver, C, gold, and D, platinum. Red team. Platinum. Incorrect. Blue team. Mercury. Correct. A ganglion is a cluster of what sort of cells? 
multiple choice. A, muscle, B, blood, C, lymph, D, nerve. Red team. Lymph. Incorrect. Blue team. Muscle. Um, no, it's nerve, D. And at the end of the brain battle, the red team is at zero, the blue team is at 24 points. And as we come back, we'll talk to our teams a little bit, and then we go on to the engineer at this challenge where 40 points are at stake. We'll be back right after this. Welcome back to Messed Up. Before we head into the engineer this challenge, let's talk to our teams, get to know them a little bit better. So from Wayne Fleet School, we have Stephen and Juliana. Again, welcome to both of you. How was your summer before you uh, headed back into school? It was good. Pretty good, good. Yeah. Did you guys go away, spend a lot of time at the beach? I went to Japan. That was awesome. Yeah. That is awesome. <laughs> yeah. How was that flight? Oh, really long. Yeah. 14 hours. <laughs> Do you speak any Japanese? Nope. No. <laughs> and how about you, Stephen? Uh, spent a good amount of time working or doing yeah. some calculus. Yeah, earning some cash. <laughs> yeah, and, good and way to spend the summer. So, yeah, for yeah. sure. Well, welcome guys and uh, good luck today. And over to Kylie and Jenna, uh, Kaylee and Jenna, sorry. Yeah, okay. And uh, so you guys go to Baxter Academy and you take part in an after school program where um, you actually bring art to other students. Yeah. Is that right? Tell us a little bit about that. Um, I do a volunteer thing called Art in the Park with a program called The Company of Girls. And every Tuesday and Thursday we go to housing authorities and bring local art projects to them. That is really cool. That must be really rewarding. It is. It's, yeah. it's great. Yeah. And you like to do some woodworking or yeah. building. Yeah. Is that right? Tell us a little bit about that. Um, it basically just something that started in engineering class. Yeah. Um, our teacher had us build little trusses with balsa wood. And I just found that I love putting the little pieces together and gluing and stapling and all yeah. the little hands-on things. The best part of engineering, right? Actually yeah. building stuff. Yeah, for sure. Well, welcome to both of you guys as well. And now we are going to head into the engineer this challenge. So Maya, why don't you explain? Thank you, Sarah. Just give, give me, me a few more moments to finish wrangling the various wild eukaryotes I've collected for this challenge. All right, for today's engineer, this contestants will be constructing food chains using only pipe cleaners and the assortment of plasticized wild animals I've collected. Contestants must build the tallest possible food chain such that all carnivores are suspended above all herbivores and where the height of their food chain will be considered to be the height of the tallest carnivore. The team with the highest lofted carnivore will receive this round's precious 40 points. Thank you, Maya. So you guys heard the instructions from Maya. Any questions? We're all set to go. All right, your five minutes begin right now.
for like a standoff here. Yeah. <laughs> Nobody breathe. <laughs> you guys both have your towers. Looks like you both have carnivores at the top. And why don't we go ahead and measure? All right. So Juliana, I'm actually gonna have you read that on oh. the other side. What are we at? The very top of the tiger's ear. Five inches. I thought I thought it was five when I. Yeah. Yeah, five inches. All right, so five inches for the blue team. What do you think? The very top of the tail there. Let's make sure we've got your herbivores and carnivores are looking good. Four and three quarters. Four and three quarters. All right. So it looks like blue team gets the 40 points. So close. So close. Yeah. <laughs> so 40 points going to the blue team. That brings us to 64 and zero. But we're heading into the grid of destiny. There are a lot of points to be earned. We'll be back with the grid of destiny right after this. Welcome back to Messed Up. We're heading into the grid of destiny. The grid has four columns, one for math, one for engineering, one for science, and one, of course, for technology. Each column has four questions, which increase in point value, but also difficulty. Um, the team in the lead gets to choose the first question. So blue team, that will be you. And if you answer the question correctly, you go on to uh, choose the next one. If you answer incorrectly, then the red team gets to take over the board and make their choice. Same thing as the brain battle. You earn an extra two points if you buzz in and answer correctly before we go to multiple choice. You guys all set? All right, let's get right to it. I think we'll do math for 10. For 10? What is the product of 4,110 and 70? Blue team. Uh, 287,700. That's correct. Blue team, your choice again. Math 15. After an isosceles triangle with two sides of five inches is cut out of each of the sides of a 10 inch wide cube, how much surface area remains on the cube? We'll give you guys some extra time for this one. And now we'll go to multiple choice. A, 512 square inch inches. B, 528 square inches. C, 540 square inches. Or D, 564 square inches. Red team. 528 square inches. That is correct. Good job. So red team, your choice. Science for 15. What unit of size is closest to the diameter of a proton? Multiple choice. A, angstrom. B, newton. C, tesla. D, fermi. Red team. Newton. newton. Incorrect. Blue team? A. Incorrect. The correct answer was D, fermi. So blue team, your choice. Um, Technology 10. The .ini file extension usually refers to what type of file? Multiple choice. A, system file. B, image file. C, hypertext file. D, movie file. Red team. Hypertext file. Incorrect. Blue team? Um, system file. Correct. So blue team, your choice. <laughs> um, math 20. What is the product of the square root of 128 and the square root of 32? And multiple choice, A, 48, B, 52, C, 64, D, 128. Blue team. C. That is correct, 64. That's 25. How many two-digit prime numbers are there? Blue team. 27. Incorrect. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 
Red team? Four. Incorrect. The correct answer is 21. Close. <laughs> I know there are 10 between 50 and 100. So red team, your choice. Science for 10. What type of plants did Friar George Mendel use for his experiments in heredity? Blue team. Pea plant? Correct. So blue team, go back to you, your, your choice. Engineering time. <laughs> One liter of water occupies what volume of space in cubic meters? And multiple choice. A. 0.1 meters cubed, B, 1 meters cubed, C, 10 meters cubed, or D, 1,000 meters cubed. Red team. C. Incorrect. Blue team. B. That is correct. 1 meters cubed. Um, engineering 15. The world's currently tallest freestanding structure exists in what city? Blue team. Uh, Dubai. Correct. Correct. Engineering 20. You guys found the video question. Hi, my name is Galen Richmond. I am an intern at Fairchild Semiconductor in the uh, Electrical Engineering Test and Characterization Department. I'm also an electronic musician. I play under the name Computer at Sea and build my own instruments uh, out of circuit bent hardware and some handmade electronics. And here is your video question for the week. So picture a circuit that has two parallel branches and each parallel branch has within it two parallel branches of 100 ohm resistors. So you have one set of parallel 100 ohm resistors in parallel with another set of 100 ohm parallel resistors. What is the total resistance of that resistor network from the top of the node to the bottom? Blue team. 25. That's correct. And your choice. Engineering 25, I guess. Experiments in developing what extremely popular handheld device began as early as 1901 with the work of Spanish engineer Leonardo Torres Quevedo. Red team. Cell phone. Incorrect. Blue team. iPod. Incorrect. The correct answer is remote control. And red team, your choice. Technology 15. Described in Hertz, named a frequency that falls within the high frequency band. Red team. 100 hertz. Incorrect. Blue team. 2000 hertz. Incorrect. The correct answer was a range from 3 to 30 megahertz. Oh, that's, that's like 10 minutes. Okay. Um, so we're back <laughs> to blue team. Science 20. Brass gets discolored in air because of the presence of what gas? Red team. Oxygen. Uh, incorrect. Blue team. Carbon. Incorrect. The correct answer is hydrogen sulfide. And red team, your choice. Science for 25. What metal is commonly extracted from seawater? Red team. Copper. Incorrect. Blue team? Any answer? No? The correct answer is magnesium. So, blue team. Your Italian physicist Alessandro Volta is famous for inventing what in the early 19th century? Multiple choice. A, electric switch. B, spinning jenny. C, telegraph, or D, battery. Red team. Battery. Correct. Should we do technology for 25? Uh, yeah. Let's do it. What was the first message sent across ARPANET, the original manifestation of the internet? We'll go to multiple choice. A, low. B, hello world. C, Mary had a little lamb, or D, G H G H. Blue team. A. Correct. And that's the grid of destiny. We have the red team at 35 points, blue team 192 points. And now we head into our end game question. 
The subject of the question is math. So you guys go ahead and wager what points you want to, uh, to wager for the end game question and we'll be right back after this. And welcome back to Messed Up. We are here at our end game question. The subject is math. And so the teams have uh, told me their wagers. And remember, it's not necessarily who wins or loses today. It's the top eight teams from the first 12 teams that will go on to our semifinals. So with that, you guys ready for the end game question? All right, here we go. A bomber is flying horizontally with a velocity of 600 kilometers per hour at a height of 1,960 meters. If a bomb is released when the plane is directly above point A on the ground and the bomb impacts at point B, what is the distance between points A and B? You will get three minutes. So let's start with the red team. Red team, you wagered 25 points. And what is your answer? 670 kilometers. Fortunately, that's incorrect. The correct answer is 3.33 kilometers. All right, so you are down to 10 points. And blue team, you wagered eight points. Let's see if we get you up to uh, 200 here. 36 kilometers. 36 kilometers. <laughs> All right, so you are down to 184 points, but you've won four today, and we'll see who ends up in the final eight in the semifinals. Thank you so much for joining us here on Messed Up. You can always watch episodes at messedup.tv, and be sure to keep track of Maya on our Facebook page. Thank you so much for joining us, and thanks again to our teams. Congratulations, guys. Stop is brought to you by Midcoast Federal Credit Union.